Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to use WP Code with MemberPress. WP Code is the best WordPress code snippets plugin out there. It lets you change up your WordPress site by adding code right inside of the plugin. So you don't have to mess with your WordPress themes functions.php file or anything like that. I mean, just look at this screen. Ugh. And it's actually really easy to break your site if code isn't added just right. So WP Code takes the worry out of all that. And you don't actually need to know coding or what code to even add. There's a whole code snippets library that you can use. And beyond the library, if you need to add a snippet of code to fix your site or to customize something, you can do that really easily with WP Code too. And with its MemberPress integration, you can customize your membership site experience in all kinds of ways. So to get started, you'll need to have MemberPress installed on your WordPress site. And then you'll need to install WP Code. So to do that, go to Plugins here on the left sidebar of WordPress and Add New. And then search for WP Code. And it's this plugin right here. So just click to install and activate it. Once that's done, you'll see Code Snippets added here to the sidebar. So if you click Code Snippets, you'll see any code snippets currently on your site. And you can see that I have two on mine. And then here under status, you can see that they're disabled, so they're not currently running on my site. So to add a new snippet, just click Add Snippet. And then you can create your own blank code snippet here. Or there's a whole bunch of pre-made snippets that you can use. So for example, if you get a custom snippet from a tutorial or a support team somewhere, you can just use a blank snippet to insert it here. Okay, so now that we've got everything installed and a little primer on WP Code, let's see how this works with MemberPress. There's a lot of things you can do with code snippets in MemberPress. I'll only go over a few use cases here to show you how it all works and to give you some ideas. Okay, so let's say I want to promote a membership for sale on my site. So I have a free blog, and I want an ad for my membership to display on every single blog post. But I don't want it to display if someone has a membership already and is logged in. So with WP Code's custom block snippets, I can do that. So I'm going to create a blank snippet. I'll click Add Snippet, and then select Add Your Custom Code. And this one is going to be a block snippet, which lets you use the block editor to create custom elements to place throughout your site. And then here, you can see the different kind of snippets that you can select. HTML, text, PHP. We'll see more of these in use later. So I'll name this one Membership Add. And then I'll select Edit with Block Editor. And then here's where I'm going to build my ad. I'll keep it really simple for this example. I'll add a header, and then some text, and then I'll just add a button block, and enter sign up, and then I'll link my pricing page on the button. And then I'll just search for spacer and add a small spacer block on the bottom just to give my ad some breathing room. And then once I'm done, I'll click to save it. And then click here to return to the code snippet. Next, I'll leave it set to auto insert. And then under location, I'll go to page specific. And then here I can set it to insert after a paragraph. So I'll select that. And then here, I'm going to set to display the ad after every second paragraph on all my posts. And you can even set it to start and stop displaying on a certain date if you want to. And then here, I'll enable logic, which will let me determine when it's displayed based on membership. And then I'll select hide, then add new group. And then here in this dropdown, you'll see some member press options. I'll select user active membership, meaning the current site visitor has an active membership, is, and then I'll select monthly. And then I'll select yearly. So monthly and yearly are my two memberships that I have on my site. So my code snippet won't display if the site visitor has a monthly or yearly membership. So now I'll come up here and I'll switch it to active. And then I'll be sure to save it. Now, I'll open my site in a new incognito window, so I'm not logged in as my site admin user. 
so it's like I'm viewing my site as a brand new visitor. And then I'll go to my blog and click on a blog post. And then after the second paragraph, I can see my ad. And then if I go back to the blog and click on another blog post, there it is again. Pretty cool. So now I'll log in as a test user account on my site that has an active membership. So I'll go to log in and enter the test user and log in. And then once I'm logged in, I'll head back to my blog, go to my blog post, and since this test user has a membership, it doesn't show up. So you can start to see how to use WP Code to add some pretty cool functionality to your MemberPress site. Another MemberPress specific feature in WP Code is the ability to add snippets to areas on MemberPress related pages. So to show you that, I'll add a new snippet. And then I'll name this one June Giveaway. So for this example, let's just say I have a special giveaway going on where I'm giving members the chance to win an iPad, and I have these giveaways that run every month. So if I open my site, and then go to my member account page, I have a special tab added here where members can go to enter the giveaway. And I added it here using MemberPress's NavTabs add-on. So in my hypothetical site, I send monthly reminder emails about the giveaway, but I want to give members an extra reminder to enter. And what better place than when they're logging in? So going back to WP Code, this time I'll set this to be a simple text snippet. And I'll make this a heading four. And then I'll enter, check the giveaways tab of your account page for a chance to win a new iPad Pro. Then I'll leave it to auto insert. And then in the location dropdown, if you go to e commerce, you see a whole section for MemberPress. And you can insert your snippets in all kinds of places, like before the registration form, the coupon field, checkout submit button, and more. So for this, I'll select before login form submit, which is the login button on my login page. And then I'll set an end date to when my giveaway ends. And then now I'll activate it and save it. And then now I'll open my site in a new incognito window. And then I'll click login. And you can see the reminder here. Another MemberPress use case would be to use our mini action and filter hooks on our support docs. There's a lot you can do with these, but they are considered a more advanced feature in MemberPress. They're mostly used by developers, so if you're not a pro web dev, proceed with caution. Here on the filter hooks page of the MemberPress support docs, you see a whole bunch that you can use. Just to use one as an example, there's a filter hook here to change the home label on the member account page. So to show you that real quick, if I open my site and then go to the member account page, here's what that looks like. And you can see the default label for the main page here, my profile. So you can change what this text says with the filter hook. So going back to the support docs page, I'll click nav home label here. And then I'll copy this code here. Then I'll head back to WordPress, go to code snippets, and click add snippet. I'll select add your custom code and give it a title. And then here I'll change the code type to PHP snippet. And then I'll paste my code here. And then now I'll change what I want the label to read. For example, instead of my profile, I just want it to say profile. And again, this is more advanced. So if you don't have experience working with PHP or any type of code, this is just to show you the type of stuff that can be done. So I'll type return and profile. And then I'll leave it set to auto insert. For location, I'll change it to front end only. So the code only runs on the front end of my site. And then here under basic info, I'll add a tag to it, just in case I add more customizations in the future and I want to group them together. 
And then I'll also enter a note to remind myself what this is in the future. And then up at the top, I'll toggle this to active. And then I'll click save. And then if I go back to snippets, I can see it right here with the status set to on. So now if I open my site again, now you see the label says profile. And then going back to WP code, I'll switch the snippet off. And then going back to the account page, I'll hit refresh and you can see it reverts back to my profile. So the snippet's working. Again, if you're an advanced user, check out our many action and filter hooks in our support docs to see what else you can do. So I hope this video gave you some ideas about how you can use WP code to customize your MemberPress site experience. Check out our support documentation and blog post for more info. Also, be sure to subscribe to our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks to make your MemberPress site a success. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.